road to the Final Four continues with East Region action from our nation's capital. The number one seed in the East, the Maryland Terrapins, take on the Big Ten co-champion, Wisconsin Badgers. Full house here at the MCI Center. And the winner will advance to Syracuse in the Sweet 16 in a matchup with Kentucky. The Wildcats advancing yesterday past Tulsa. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Billy Packer, and uh, again, the one seed here has to get by a team that accomplished much more than anyone expected this year in the Big Ten, the Badgers of Wisconsin. Absolutely, but Jim, what I'm interested to see right here, and people have been complaining about this in regard to the tournament, what will this home crowd mean to Maryland, a team that has a distinct advantage here in regard to talent? Gary Williams, Terrapins. Starting with Mouton, Wilcox, Baxter, Dixon, and Blake. Final four squad of a year ago. Wisconsin 19 and 12. Overall, Wills, Mater, Davis, Penny, Penny an all-league performer, and Harris. Bonnie Bernstein will be reporting from the sidelines. Bonnie. Hi there, Jim. Well, barring anything unforeseen, Juan Dixon will become Maryland's all-time leading scorer tonight. Amazing on a couple of fronts. Growing up in inner-city Baltimore, Dixon lost both parents to complications from HIV. On the basketball front, he didn't start at all his freshman year because Steve Francis was still a turf. Said Dixon, I can't believe I'm just seven points from breaking Len Bias's record. To do it just 40 miles from home makes it just that much more fun. Dixon from Baltimore, Maryland. The campus for the Terrapins, only 10 miles away from this arena, down Route 1 on the road to the Final Four. Dixon starred on Friday night in the win over Siena. Feisty effort by the Siena Saints. 85-70 win for Maryland. Dixon had 20 in the first half, 29 for the night. Jim, what I think is going to be really important to see, and, and the man that really sets the tone, and this sounds kind of crazy when you have guys like Baxter and Dixon there, is the man that's at the center circle right now to jump, and that's Wilcox. Does he show up today as a guy who has proven on certain occasions to be one of the premier players in the country, but in other games kind of fades into the woodwork? O'Ryan's Badgers, very deliberate, very patient, mistake-free kind of a team. They came on late in the season, 11 and five in the league to share the title with three others. Penny, turnaround nice. for two. Beautiful patience by Penny. That's a word really you can apply to this team probably all game long, patience. These two teams played last year against each other in the ACC Big East Challenge and Penny had 18 in that one with four threes. There's your man, Wilcox, you called the key with the turnaround. They did meet a year ago. The game was played in Milwaukee, and Wisconsin won it in overtime. Dick Bennett retired right after the game. That's right. Changed a lot of things, and that's going to be a reach. No, it's an over and back, they call it. Violation against the Badgers. A lot of body contact there, and again, let's watch this officiating. Bo Ryan saying right away, how about taking my, keeping the player's hands off me? Something we saw in the first round here. Hand checking was called very quickly. Steve Blake at the controls. He had 11 assists on Friday night. That was high for any player in the first round of this tournament. All-time assist man at Maryland. Sets up Dixon. It's blocked. You see Harris on Dixon. Freshman. One of the top freshmen in the country. Not only in the Big Ten, but in the country. Playing Dixon. And he got a hand on that shot. Devin Harris, number 34 for Wisconsin. He can shoot it, too. A nice matchup with Dixon guarding him. Wills locked out of bounds by Wilcox. One of the things that's going to be interesting in this game, too, is Wisconsin is not a deep team. Maryland, along with Kansas, probably has as good a depth, quality of depth, as anybody in the country at all positions. So it's really critical for Wisconsin to stay out of any foul trouble, make sure everybody's efficient. Penny thought he made that fadeaway three. It really is a team that plays only seven in all. Well, the last three games, Wisconsin is 29 out of 48, which is over 60% from the three-point line. And that is really what has been the key factor for them getting to this game. Foul on Harris on the outside. Wilcox short on the jumper, and Wills secures it. So far, no second-chance points for Maryland. Something they'll really have to get in this game if they're going to be successful. Meter outside. Oh, too low. That pass at the ankles of Penny. Stolen away by Maryland. 
Maryland would love to get in a run shoot game. Blake misfiring and Mater had the box out. Very well drilled Wisconsin team. Oh, absolutely. I watched him in a drill shooting, practice shooting fouls the other day and I'd never seen it before in basketball, but it was so well done. Oh, Baxter called for that. Thought he made a clean block. It'll send Trevon Davis to the line for two. It's a Wisconsin team that started the year one and four. Bo Ryan taking over a team with one returning starter, one and four to open the year, and they go on to get a piece of the Big Ten championship for the first time in 55 years. Yeah, he's right up there with uh, Mike Krzyzewski in regard to percentage of NCAA tournament wins. It's just at 30, he was 30 wins and five losses in Division Three. So it's a little different in the divisions, but he is now a 31 and 5, not bad. Give him his due at Wisconsin Platteville, where he won four national titles to Bo Ryan. And the all time winningest Division III coach by percentage. There he is, the winningest coach in all of college basketball in the 90s when you factor in all the divisions. First year at Wisconsin, Big Ten Coach of the Year. Good, solid defensive team here. And Baxter fouled on the way up. Baxter's going to be too quick for Mater, but the key right now for Ryan is to have Mater on the floor. He only plays 14 minutes a game, but here he's going to come out already. But uh, he really has to keep him on the floor for at least the 14 today because his team only goes seven deep. Mike Wilkinson will be replacing him. Wisconsin started the same lineup all 32 games on the season, including today. Wilkinson in for Mater. Jim, I was talking about the fundamentals that Bo Ryan has, and I talked about that foul shooting drill, how every guy was concentrating at every aspect, not only of foul shooting, but blocking out, practicing, working on things that you just don't ever see uh, done anywhere else. There's a turnover, unusual for Wisconsin. But I think it'd be smart for any high school coaches up in that Wisconsin area, go watch his team practice. You'll pick up something in a hurry. They have turned it over three times here in less than three minutes. Nixon. Shut down quickly, closed by Harris. Over to Wilcox. Oh, and there's what I was talking about at the top of this game. When he plays like that, you say, where in the world are the rest of the players? Why isn't somebody defending him? So talented. Straight man to man by Maryland. Gary Williams wanting to get this crowd into the game early. Wilkinson from the free throw line, yes. The freshman, Mike Wilkinson from Blue Mound, Wisconsin. Top rebounder, and he comes in off the bench. Dixon, his first two. He just moved past Lynn Bias as the Maryland all-time NCAA tournament score. And he's five away from becoming the Terps' all-time scorer past Bias. Looking to wait a little bit too long. He had Wills wide open. Davis with the three for the Badgers. Blake got lost on the defensive maneuver right there. Gave Davis a wide open look. So far, the tempo and the pace of this game has to be the Bo Ryan's liking. No fast break opportunities. Wilcox, put it on the floor, taken away. Wills forced it, Davis comes out with it. He's got Harris on the wing, open for the three. He can shoot it. Not connecting this time, loose ball picked up by Wilcox. That was Dixon to keep it alive. Almost stolen by Harris. Dixon with the three. That's where he was so hot the other day. And so far, Wisconsin doing a nice job on the boards. Hey, Davis went in there and fought for that rebound with Baxter and tipped it over to a teammate. Of all the conference teams that entered into the tournament this year in the NCAA, the worst rebounding team was Wisconsin. And Maryland certainly a solid rebounding club. Wills worked hard to get that open shot, unable to convert. Dixon over Top Harris. Shot. And look at little Trevon Davis at 5'10", underneath for another rebound. And you know what? It's a one-and-done situation for Maryland not getting on the offensive glass at all. And another thing that Maryland has not done, which I think they could do very well, is to get the ball to Baxter down low and let him maneuver. Charlie Wills with the three-pointer. 12-8, Wisconsin. Excellent three-point shooter. 37% on the year. 
He's taken 83s. Here's the play. Baxter on the inside. And Wills came over to help out. He's going to be called for that one with the body, with the hand check. Ronnie Baxter works hard, gets good inside position. He will draw an awful lot of fouls this year, Jim. He's gone to the foul line. This will be a 200th free throw he's going to attempt. So you want to get him the ball, particularly against a team that's not very deep. They can ill afford to have Wills on that bench and have to count on Mater to play more than those 14 minutes. Baxter, who really helped guide the Terps to their first Final Four last year. MVP of the West Regional, where they beat Stanford at the final. At 50 points and 20 rebounds in the two games in the West Regional. He was 11 for 18 against Stanford. We know what kind of front line they had last year defensively. Had 24 points, 6 rebounds in that game. Two for two for Baxter. We go to our first break with Wisconsin leading at 12-10 over the number one seed in the East. Bringing this brand new car around today. It's called the Pontiac Vibe. It sounds like a party way. How you guys like it? We I love, love it. it. Yeah. It's pretty fat, dude. Yeah? It's a fantastic car. I'm a vibe girl. Yeah. Big. Oh, sweet. Look at that AC connection. Yeah. It's awesome. I can see it zipping around town. This is the road trip mobile. Look at this. I like that. Sounds uh -huh. sharp. I like the silver. Control. Circles. It's like built real tight, you know. This is my kind of ride. Meet the new Pontiac Vibe, official vehicle for the NCAA championships. employees help secure their financial futures at the principal financial group that's what we do the principal is the 401k leader financial solutions for you and growing businesses who's our 401k with the principal financial group we understand what you're working for cba sports exclusive coverage of the ncaa basketball championship is sponsored by volvo Microsoft, Bud Light, and by Singular Wireless. We are back, and it's Wisconsin ball, and a push called on Maryland. Try to go full court pressure. Wilcox out, holding in the ball game. Not a lot of drop off there for Maryland, particularly on the offensive end of the floor. Davis stays nice and low to the ground. He's a powerful dribbler, so when he does put it on the floor, hard to take it away from him. Dixon was whistled for that foul a moment ago. Wisconsin in the red with its usual patience being applied. Leading here over the one seed, and that's a two-point shot by Charlie Wills, his second outside basket of the game. He hit a three a little bit earlier. Jimmy really should have been beyond that three-point line, but you can see Penny gets the collapse by Holden. Nobody out there on Wills. Excellent spacing by Wisconsin. They're playing right at the te tempo and pace that they'd like to in this game. They brought in Freddie Owens for the first time. Wisconsin, number 24. Taj uh, Holden in for... Maryland, number 45, his first play. Maryland in the white uniforms, trailing 14-10 early action here at the MCI Center in Washington, D.C. Blake 
Gives it up to Mouton. With five on the shot clock. Jumper off the back of the rim, and Penny has it for Wisconsin. One and done. Every Ex time. Excellent blocking out by Wisconsin so far in this basketball game. No offensive rebounds to this point for Maryland. And should be something that they would be really excel at. Here's Dixon on the outside with Owens. Owens who had the excellent game to lead Wisconsin the other day. Great Wills. shot for Wills again. And Juan Dixon pulls it down for Maryland. He's got Owens guarding him. You'll be surprised at how well Owens jumps in case he tries to take him inside. Plays bigger than he looks. Holden with the body. Heading to the line for two. This should really be the key for Maryland. Go down inside early. Holden, Wilcox, and Baxter, and just build up the fouls on Wisconsin. That really does not have any answer. Second foul on Wills. That's one player you can't afford to have off the floor. Mater's about to check in for Wisconsin. Holden out of Red Bank, New Jersey. Well, Maryland is a team that would like to run up and down the floor and exploit guys like Dixon, but really... The key for them today is to bang it down inside, deplete the ranks of Wisconsin, and then move forward. So Will sits with the two. Mater replaces him. Drew Nicholas, first action for the Turks. It is a deep Maryland team. Holden an 80% free throw shooter. And again, Gary Williams employing a good strategy here, trying to pick up the pace of the game and wear down this team that is not deep at all. Georgia off to a big start against Southern Illinois. Mater looking for help now. Limited offensive skills with Mater. Whip it around to Freddie Owens. That's a three. He had a huge game on Friday night off the bench. Freddie Owens had 18, 15 in the second half against St. John's. On the baseline, Blake back out to hold. He can shoot this. Three-pointer. Not this time. He was upset with himself. Did not take enough time. He was so wide open. Got the release off quicker than he wanted to. Again, one and done though, Jim. Any time that Maryland does not go inside, any perimeter shot has been rebounded by Wisconsin. Oh, Davis, Davis trying to post up Blake. Blake. It's a big difference without Wills on the floor. On the shot clock, Wilkinson. He knows it with one, puts it up, and that was a charge. Good job by Holden instead of going for the block. Smart play, Maryland picking up some foul problems for Wisconsin. Badgers lead it 14 12. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS. the nimble all-wheel drive Saturn view at home in almost any environment. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Friday, the wait is over. Blade 2, rated R, starts Friday. Take all the time you want, folks. We'll take this one in red. Beautiful choice, sir. No, black. Black. That's actually my favorite color. <laughs> mm. Red. Definitely right. When software lets you quickly give customers what they want, that's one degree of separation. That's business with .NET from Microsoft. Men think about women every 5.3 seconds. Men think about soap? Probably never, because they're all the same, except this one. New high endurance deodorant soap made just for guys. Maybe now women will think about you every 5.3 seconds. New from Old Spice. Why do I rent from Enterprise? For more cargo room. More people room. Or more headroom. Enterprise, 
So easy, it's like having a second car. Or third. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Jim Nance with Billy Packer here at the MCI Center in Washington with Maryland down 14-12. Terps have, though, been able to get Charlie Wills on the bench with two fouls for Wisconsin. Dixon has not been able to get off yet, but a good job by Maryland just saying inside, inside, inside. That's the answer in this game. Wisconsin will have to do too, so much to take it away from the way they like to play defense to balance that up down inside. Half-court trap. That dunk by Wilcox broke a 4-minute, 55-second drought without a field goal by the Turks. Wilkinson, three-pointer, yes! And there's a case where Wilcox, what would he be thinking about? Mater is a guy who is not going to score, and he goes to double down to try to help out Holden, who can handle Mater by himself, leaving Wilkinson, who's a very good shooter, wide open. Big mental mistake. Holden throws it out of bounds. Off the fingertips. But Wilcox. And... <laughs> And Gary Williams is screaming over there saying, you cannot help. Should be pretty clear. You know that these coaches stayed up till 3, 4 in the morning to scout the team. And I'm sure they passed that on to the players. They're just not thinking. Let's see if he understands now. Wilcox goes out. Freddie Owens down low. Challenging Blake. Mater keeps it alive. Mater will take the shot from the corner. And Wilcox pulls it away for Maryland. Maryland wanting to run. Nothing's been available because Wisconsin does this as well as any team in the country with defensive balance getting back, taking away the fast break. Approaching the midway point of the first half, and Maryland, the number one seed in the East, trails Wisconsin 17-14. Juan Dixon has been held only two points, one out of four from the field. And Jim, considering the game the other night and taking nothing away from Maryland, after that NC State beating that they had in the ACC tournament, which took away their opportunity to play Duke again, they have not played well. This team is really not in sync. They don't look smooth. They don't look focused. Holden on the foul. His first. NC State beat him 82-86 in the semifinals. Baxter in for Holden. Sometimes, again, Jim, we saw that in the, in the NCAA tournament. People pointing ahead, the teams that they think they're going to eventually play, lose the focus for the given game. You didn't think Maryland played especially well on Friday, though. No, not at all. Had to keep the starters out there, really, the well, whole way. Well, let's face it, Dixon had the, the uh, great start in the first half, and that was about all the offense they produced. Mater gets it back after missing the lay-in. Second try fails to drop. Wilcox hanging on to the ball too much, but Mater not a scoring threat, but he's supposed to make those. How many passes have been taken away? Mouton, second time, and Mater, just like at the other end, two short shots fail to drop for the Terrapins. Those entrance passes, though, they're being thrown from so far away from the post-up player they're being picked off by the side defense by Wisconsin. Maryland 31% from the field. Wisconsin in the 30s, but leading 17-14. Kenny. Good hands by Baxter. Nicholas wants to pick up the pace here. Gets it down low quickly. Wilcox spins out. Dixon now starting to go into a rebound. Owens has got to keep him off the glass. Dixon loves to crash the boards from his guard position. Starting to get a little frustrated out there. Dixon has not been in the offense. That one's on Owens, his first. Just the third. 16 foul, that is. Owens an excellent defender, and he's going to give Dixon a lot of problems because he has an explosive leaping ability. Nicholas, three-point shot. That ties it at 17. Jim, there, Nicholas is amazing how he can come off that bench and spark him. Against Siena, had nine points off that bench. Orion doesn't like what he saw. Game is tied. <laughs> Looks like you're going out of town for a while. Yeah, two-week training seminar in Arizona.
Ah, uh, training camp. A chance to bond with your teammates. To learn the newest tricks of the trade. Get ready for another winning year. Geez, I really miss it. Going away for a while, Residence Inn has everything you need to make life on the road feel more like home. Here, this always works for me. Now make three stays and earn two free nights. Call 1-888-MARRIOTT today. Residence Inn. Your Marriott awaits. We are back. The game is tied at 17. Wicket Kent State, the MAC, going to have a team in the Sweet 16. Conference USA is not. Jim, one of the things we can look up there now, 824 to go. The score 17-17. Maryland, a team, high-scoring basketball team, scoring 85 a game. You can say that this game is definitely in Wisconsin's pace. How long do you try to keep Wills on the bench with well, the two fouls? Well, I think you got to keep him the rest of the half. Is particularly if you're staying in this game. Kenny's shot bounces out. Looking again inside. But the passing lane is so far away from the man in the low post that it's easy for Wisconsin to get there and deflect the ball. 7.58 to go in the half. Another timeout on the floor. Wisconsin putting up a big effort here against the Mar Maryland Terrapins. Introduce. Don't miss the first 10 minutes when the castaways' lives are turned upside down. Really? All new Survivor, CBS Wednesday. Maryland basketball, Wisconsin has missed its last six shots. But they're still in here, Jim. 17 all. It's their type of game. Dixon loses the handle. Eddie Owens comes out with it. And without the numbers, wisely pulls it out. Wisconsin really getting this game played at their tempo. Penny realizes he's got Nicholas on him, stronger player. Threatened to shoot, now looking for help. Owens denied by Baxter, and a reach in on Owens. Good defensive sequence by Maryland, probably their best of the game. Johnson has gone cold here, but the game is still tied with 7.28 to go in the half. Jim, you asked the question, how long will it be before Wills gets in? Wisconsin really having the luxury now to stay in this game, stay in the tempo, and be able to keep him on the bench so that he doesn't have to get back in here in the first half and potentially pick up that third foul. One and one, Wilcox failing to hit the front end. Without him in there, it just seems like such a struggle to find a good shot. Well, Wisconsin. Wil well, Wilkinson never made the shot when Wilcox decided to double down on Mater. And other than that, they haven't made a field goal. Penny baseliner. Oh, yes. yes. And there, there is the one matchup where Nicholas is not strong enough to stop him down in the low post. Penny wisely takes him down there. That turnaround jump shot. Excellent move on in and then just goes up with that strength. Kind of like we saw Karan Butler do in the first game when he had a mix, a mismatch on the defensive assignment. First points for the Badgers in four minutes. Three-point play by Penny. They're all league performer. Olympian for New Zealand in the 2000 Sydney Olympics. So far, Dixon very quiet. Two points is all, kicks it outside, going the other way, charge called. Dixon committed much too early against a team like Wisconsin that is going to be ready to draw the charge rather than worry about any blocks. Oh, oh they changed it. The outside official, Billy, you saw yes. it. The official that overruled the call was the one underneath the basket. And that's huge, it's the second on Wilkinson. Again, a limited number of big bodies on the Badgers. So called on 54 right oh, there. Oh, Ryan, better be careful. He's coming out with some stuff right now. Good piece of officiating here, warning him to watch his language with the score 2017. Really a great piece of officiating there because it could have been a quick whistle for a technical. Front end of a one and one hit by Dixon. Ryan doing the right thing, an experienced coach right here going down to the far line, getting his composure back. You don't want to hurt your team. That's the kind of thing, Jim. Had that been a technical, you'd give up the, the shots and ball. So two on Wilkinson. 
two on Wills on the bench. Davis draws it. Gets this it. One, wow. Rolls in. A chance for a three-point play. Wills is checking back in for the Wisconsin lineup. This kind of surprised me with the lead why they would take that chance. Look at that shot. Just bounced around and bounced around. Davis has a lot of strength. Played behind Mike Kelly last year. Kelly, who did a really good job defensively against anybody he played, but last year against Dixon held him down in the game that, as we mentioned, Wisconsin beat Maryland in Milwaukee. Mike Kelly started three years ahead of Davis, so gets to start his senior year. They stay in touch. Kelly will call and still try to help out the Badgers and the man who's taken over his position with a little advice. You can see why this Wisconsin team was one of four that ended up with the championship in the Big Ten, although they were picked to be about seven. Baxter, spin move, rattles in. They just play such solid defense, don't throw the ball away. The other day against St. John's, a team that averaged their opponents turning it over 19 times, they only turned it over nine. They just don't throw it away. Make you earn everything. Penny, three-point shot from the rim. Blake saves it to Nicholas. And you notice you get very few fast breaks. Good drop catch by Wilcox, who can run the floor for a man his size as well as anybody in the country. Wilcox has eight. The game is tied at 23. Brings the crowd up for the first time today. Penny hesitates. Ball loose, comes out, Dixon. And he who does is lost, Jim. If Penny had put that shot up in normal motion, you'd hit it. Nicholas with the three. And Ryan says, no, we'll take a timeout. I don't like the pace that I see on that sequence. Maryland with a seven-point run to come back from four down for the 26-23 lead. First half. In just a flash, Maryland goes on a seven-point rampage for the lead. And Jim, for the first time, you really see what it feels like and hears and sounds like in regard to the crowd getting involved in this ball game. So Wisconsin realizes now they're playing on somebody else's home turf. Will's back in the game. This is a big gamble by Ryan. And I felt as long as they stayed close or had the lead, he'd keep Wills on that bench. Davis dribbles through, stays low. Harris to Mater to the basket. And a charge. Baxter drew it. Follow every play from each game of the tournament with live scoreboards and game centers. CBS.sportsline.com, America Online, and the keyword CBS Sportsline. Well, you can't fall Mater. He thought maybe he could get Baxter to go up for the block. Very smart play by Baxter, staying on the ground. Wills, Mater, and Wilkinson, and Owens. Four players with two fouls each. Well, it, this is really a key in this basketball game, and that third foul, if it comes on Wills, would really hurt Wisconsin. If the Maryland keep going inside, build up the fouls. Lake, three-point shot, 10 unanswered by the Turks. Lake is starting to look for that shot a lot more than he did earlier in the year. Makes him really tough because he can penetrate as well as anybody and an excellent assist man. Led the ACC in assist and assist turnover ratio. Owens, underneath, it's Wills with the putback. Bad positioning by Holden. Breaks, breaks the 10-0 run, Billy. And there you see where Owens has that ability, Jim, to be a good leaper with, with strength inside. We saw that on Friday. Dixon. Three-point shot. I think he's surprised Owens didn't use any dribble or any fake. Seven points for Dixon. Just become the all-time scorer. Juan Dixon has just hit a three-point shot. He's become Maryland's all-time leading scorer with that basket, moving past Lenny Bias. Quite an accomplishment. It's also given the Turks their largest lead of the game, 
You know, the other thing interesting about Dixon, Harris, oh boy, how about that? Rainmaker. Dixon has is the leading steel man in the country and has never fouled out of a game. Now, how do you like That's that combination? Hard to do. Shows you his great anticipation. Good roll. Dixon again, jumper. Yes. Good offensive movement now. And the other thing you have to think a little bit about Wisconsin, Jim, is getting tired. Not a lot coming off of that bench that can help him with firepower. Although the pace of this game has not been such that you wear yourself out. Baxter going out there, making it tough even for Mater to throw a pass. Wills and hold him with the body. It's only the sixth team foul, so not the one and one. Wills, big game. 21 points, six rebounds against Ohio State. He's had a great senior year. Fifth year senior. Maryland has hit its last seven shots. Lead by six. Tonight on Robo Bash, we got five. Maryland's Juan Dixon with five points in the last minute to become Maryland's all-time leading scorer. And while the media and many of the fans have made a big deal about the scoring record, Dixon says, that's not my goal. I was part of the first team to go to the Final Four to Maryland. I want to graduate here with a championship ring on my finger. He has the Terrapins in front, 34-28, with 2.35 to play in the first half. On Harris now is Dixon He's being very aggressive out there. Running one of those patented steals of his for the breakaway two. Davis turnaround. And Blake picks up the loose ball. There up he ahead. goes. Dixon. Wills cannot challenge. As Wilcox comes flying through, Wills has had to move out of the way. And you can see, although Maryland just has a slight working margin of eight points, everything has changed in this game because of the foul trouble. There he goes. Away, Dixon. Davis got it back. They call Davis on the foul. Maryland on quite a run right here. 17 to 5 stretch for the Terrapins to take the eight point lead. Two minutes to go. First half. Well, Dixon, uh, as you pointed out earlier, Jim, passed Lenny Bias in regard to NCAA tournament points. Actually, uh, Lonnie Baxter was ahead of him going into this year, but now he holds both the NCAA Maryland career records as well as the Maryland all-time scoring records. Well, I can remember the first time I ever saw him, red shirt, freshman. People said, boy, he's going to be a good one. You looked at him, he looked like he weighed about 120 pounds. <laughs> yeah. And he's not a lot tall, I mean, a lot huskier right now, but you didn't realize the heart this young man has and how much he loves to play and work at it. Set out a year and practiced against Stevie Francis in practice. Put Penny looking for some help. Harris, long Angel pass down pass. there to Mater. Ten point margin now for the Terrapins. And again, Will's looking to see if there's anybody on the double downs that's open for the three. The only person that was is Mater, and he's the one guy that don't want shooting. Seven on the shot clock. Harris, under the rim. Good block out by Mater. Two Wisconsin players right there, and it's off Maryland, off Mouton. Going to be another 35 seconds on the clock. Mouton had a very good game against Wisconsin last year in that overtime win Wisconsin had. He's not done much offensively today, however. Nor Friday night. His last big game was uh, against Florida State in the first round of the ACC tournament. Harris almost took that baby backcourt. Wilcox went for the steal. Wills powers his way. To go to the line to repair. But of course, there's a lot of difference there. Randall is the one who committed that foul. Gary Williams sitting over there can say, okay, Baxter, you're on the bench. I'll put Randall in there for eight or ten minutes. It doesn't hurt Maryland the way it did hurt uh, Wisconsin having Wills on that bench. Randall with his first and two for Wills. We heard Bonnie talk about how Juan Dixon wanted to be more than anything a part of that first Final Four team from Maryland. Charlie Wills was a part of the Final Four team at Wisconsin. He came in with that heralded class, Kowski, Vershaw, Kelly, Linton. He was the first one to actually commit 
They've all well, that's kind of now. interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of like Shane Battier was the first to commit out of that great group to Duke, and he ended up with that ring on his hand. First to commit, last to last leave. Last to leave, yep. That ball batted around and into the arms of Wills. Look at how important it is to have Wills in this game. 38-30, under a minute to play. Trying to settle things down. It got out of control for the Badgers for about a five-minute stretch, and Maryland made them pay. Maryland's much better when they put a lot of pressure on the ball. Wisconsin used to spreading it out. They have very good spacing in their game. Dixon again with that quickness and anticipation. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Baxter back in. Holden returns as well. Randall and Wilcox sit. You know, Dick Bennett, uh, I, I'd love to hear him talk about basketball. He said, I consider anticipation and reaction as part of athleticism. Now when you couple that anticipation and reaction with athleticism that Dixon has, you have a real defender. Penny working for a shot. Mater with five on the shot Inside clock. three. And Nicholas pulls it down. The Turks can take the last shot if they wish. I think they'd be smart to go inside, see if they can pick up at least the attempt to pick up one on Wills, but instead they spread it out. And you have a chance to go ahead and get a third foul on Wills that may be better than two points. And he's guarding Holden, would rather shoot outside. Switch off Blake into Dixon. Short. Ball three, Penny in the corner, and it's an eight point game at halftime. Dixon leading all scores with 11. The winner advancing to Syracuse to the regional in a matchup with Kentucky on Friday night. 38-30 Terps. Let's go over to Bonnie Bernstein. All right, well, Gary, it seemed early that your team struggled to make the shots, but also that Wisconsin was slowing your pace down. How has that changed? Well, we got it going pretty good with our press. I think we might have worn them down a little bit, but we have to do the same thing in the second half if we expect to win the game. Coach Gary Williams directing his alma mater to the Final Four last year, and he has his team in front, 38-30 at the intermission. Coming up, singular at the half. And Greg and Clark will take us around the country. We'll get the updates on Xavier, Oklahoma, and Southern Illinois, Georgia as well. We'll be coming your way on the road to the Final Four when we continue on CBS Sports in just a moment. The new Saab 9.5. With a more solid ride than a turbo. TV, channel 354. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Chevy Trucks, Miller Lite, IBM, and by Marriott. The Terrapins in that first half committed only four turnovers. Leading by eight, let's get the report now from Bonnie Bernstein. Bonnie. All right, just checked in with Bo Ryan, Jim, and he said when Maryland went on that scoring run and started draining those threes at the end, he said, my team blinked a little bit. The other thing is exactly what Gary Williams is talking about. He said they got their press going, we struggled with it, we turned the ball over six times in the first half. They've got to cut that down in the second. Bo Ryan saw his team get outscored 19-7 to to close out the first half. There it is, first Wisconsin head coach to win a tournament game in his very first season. Also, again, the first Wisconsin coach to be honored as coach of the year in the Big Ten. His team down eight as Maryland has the first possession second half. Baxter walking on Mater. Walked around. By with it. And a loose ball picked up by Davis. That's a foul on Mouton of Maryland. Excellent call by the official, although bodies were going everywhere, Mouton never had any grasp of the ball whatsoever. Normally you see officials allow that play to go on just as if everybody's in the pile, but uh, all Mouton was trying to do is to use his body to gain an advantage, so a good call. That's the first for Mouton, who is scoreless in this game. And now you can't move on the baseline yep, Wills because right nobody the scored. Running the baseline, Billy. Remember, we saw that uh, the other night, but it was after a ball had been thrown in bounds and kicked and then given back to the man that was uh, taking the ball out of bounds. 
rare mental error by the Badgers. Blake, three-point shot. Nobody under. Mouton fights Boy, for he it. he is battling. Now this time he does have some position. Dixon set up for the jumper. Wow, battles out. Wilcox tips it in over Penny. In that first half, Wisconsin did a good job, even though the club did a big disadvantage rebounding. They were only down one rebound in the first half. Actually, up one rebound in the first half. 16 to 15. Shows you how well they spaced the floor. Made sure Maryland didn't get many second chance opportunities. Rolls with Wilcox behind him. No one there but Baxter. Well, that, what Harris saw, he saw Penny's red shirt, but didn't realize that there was no passing lane. Wilcox, turn around. Tipped up. And Baxter and Harris dueling tie-up Badger ball. Good call. A tie-up before Baxter finally got it away. And here we see the great rotation on Dixon shots. That has to go in the basket. And Wilcox just too big for Penny right over the top. Something we expected to see a lot of in this first half where Maryland has a big advantage in that front line going up for second chance points. Wilcox, the top scorer, 12. Nader short on the jumper. Good, solid two-handed rebound by Baxter, one of his specialties. Baxter just a solid all-around player. Makes very few mistakes. Now, Wills is on Wilcox. He does not have the offensive moves to draw the fouls that Baxter has. Pretty good defensive play by Mayweather to hit it with his foot. <laughs> that one off Wills. Six on the shot clock. Dixon open three. 13 point lead for Maryland. Harris was anticipating the ball would go the other way. Tough break for the freshman. Seal goal for the Badgers for almost six minutes. You feel an energy level down a little bit for Wisconsin, even though they had a halftime break? Definitely. Yeah. It, it, it's a spillover from the first half. No question. In the end, Dixon, two more. Time out, Wisconsin. They really have to get this thing slowed down here. First seven points of the second half to Maryland. Playing like the number one seed that they are in the East. In 1935, Foxwood Farm started with one horse and a truck. The horse was a thoroughbred, the truck a Chevy Suburban. Today they have a few more horses, but there's still only one truck, Chevy Suburban. With an available 8.1 liter Vortec engine, it's capable of towing up to six tons, making it the best Suburban yet. Chevy Suburban, like a rock. Think of e-business as a game. You got players, you got management. You got opponents who don't always play by the rules. This game takes strategy. And the ability to move that metaphorical ball that is information. With more money on the line than in any other game that's ever been played. E-business isn't just a game, it's the game. So if you're going to play, play to win. Juicy Whopper, flame broiled, never fried. Crisp lettuce, crunchy dill pickles, onions, and red ripe tomatoes on a freshly baked bun. America's favorite burger just keeps getting better. Aren't you hungry for a Whopper now? I wake up every day thinking about how exciting it is that I have my job. Wake up, what you been dreaming about? The songs that everybody loves to hear, they kind of gather around and sing along with you or drink with you or do whatever they're doing. I mean, you don't have to be pretty or cool or, I mean, you can be a total dork and play guitar and you're going to, somebody's going to go out with you, <laughs> you know, so. Just three days. The only witnesses to the crime are the dead themselves. And one man hears their cry, Ted Danson, living with the dead. CBS Sunday, April 28th. 
Billy, look at the West Regional now. UCLA and Missouri are in the Sweet 16. Arizona will take on the winner of Xavier, Oklahoma, which is tied up in the second half. Boy, Missouri has looked so impressive so far, and Quinn Snyder's club just hitting on all cylinders. Good with the outside shots. Rush is a dangerous scorer. I mean, that, that team has really played well. Steve Lavin's team with that overtime win today. I believe he's won his last nine games as a coach when the Bruins have gone to overtime. Lavin. Meanwhile, Billy in the South, Duke and Indiana, Pittsburgh and Kent State, the Lexington Regional is all set now. Be a lot of local appeal there too. Pittsburgh and Kent State, not a far drive, nor for Indiana. Duke, Indiana, Pittsburgh against Kent State. That's Thursday. Here's Maryland wanting to keep it right going. A good workmanlike second half start for Maryland. Jumper by Blake, too strong. Tie up here. Mouton has it. That's the third time Mouton has been involved with a good rebounding technique. He was stepping out of bounds, I think, on that play, Jim. But the arrow there belonged to Wisconsin. Clayton Hansen has come in for the Badgers, number 13. He just played the final 15 seconds on Friday night. Good pass to Wills, snaps it to the corner. Penny rejected by Baxter. Wills with the putback. No goal, Tim. Hansen wants it. Three is short. And it's Baxter with the rebound. A Baxter highlight reel. Wilcox at the other end. This is Maryland basketball right now. Bo Ryan is going to get a technical foul. He is working those officials as hard as he can, and they're trying to ignore him. He is really in their ear. Scoreless the first four minutes of this half. A 28-7 run, Billy, by Maryland. Wilkinson, three. Not this time, and Mouton up high for the rebound. And Mouton doing a good hard-nosed job on the boards. Dixon back out, Blake passes up, a good shot. Dixon. That's pretty good team ball movement right there by Maryland, not just trying to take the first thing that they had available. Give everybody a chance to get in the rebounding position. Wills outside, three, front of the rim. Nice Back touch. forward and in. Young man played well in the NCAA tournament. Working their way all the way to the Final Four. And we remember that Michigan State-Wisconsin war that those two teams <laughs> played. Not pretty to watch. Some called it woeful. 53-41, Michigan State win in that 2000 national semifinal. Well, I'll never forget the end of that first half. Everybody was just broken down. Great block. Bonnie Baxter batting them back. Lots of yelling, crying, and tears. And that's just Bobby Knight. Baby Bob, premiere CBS Monday. Billy, what do you see out of the Midwest? Well, I still like Kansas, particularly with the situation with Heinrich coming back yesterday and really looking great off the bench. And there's Dixon with a curl move on the out of bounds, going over the top of everybody. And Maryland now on a roll. It took him a while to get there. Hanson tried to stop him. Not capable. Owens sitting on the bench right now. The lineup on the floor for Wisconsin really going to have a hard time matching up with Maryland. Three-point play. Lead is 17. 50-33. That Midwest Regional now all set with Texas, Oregon, Kansas against Illinois. Two Big 12, a Big 10, and the Pac-10 regular season champions. Four there. Did you see Dixon? He has that incredible like radar to go steal that ball. As I said before, has never fouled out of a college game. That's amazing for a guy that plays defense the way he does. He really knows when to take his chances. Well, should have taken that shot against Baxter. There it is. It's amazing how he can anticipate. Dixon again has 21. 
That's his 50th. This game's his 50th straight double-double. Here he comes again. It's fun to watch him because he just sees the whole court. Most of his steals come on passes that he takes away, not against the dribbler. Always knows where his man is. Three-point shot rattles out by Hanson. Wisconsin really tired out here right now. And uh, Coach Ryan has no answers over there with that short bench. It's amazing. This is the only team in the Big Ten that beat every other team in the league. It was funny that stretch where they go on the road and lose to Michigan and Northwestern and still end up being tied for the Big Ten championship. Dixon back out, Holden. They also defeated every Big Ten team at home this year for the first time since 1950. All the home games against Big Ten opponents, victors. They go to Indiana and beat Indiana there. First time since 77. Dixon oh, and man. a chance for the four-point play. And if you're Bo Ryan, you can go sit down and relax now. That's the sealer right there. Coach Ryan has won three division three games with championships. Four, excuse me. But this is a different level right here. Really like the way that Gary Williams has been patient in this game, realizing early on, get Wisconsin in some foul trouble early, down low. Use the press to wear him down. It's uh, been a good coaching strategy. Dixon has 13 of the Terrapins, 17 in the second half. Wisconsin has a total of three for the entire second half, six and a half minutes in. There's so many times, Jim, you see coaches' strategy, and they won't be patient enough to stay with it. Harris from the inside. He has five. And Gary Williams, coach of the year. Actually, we had the Big Ten and ACC coach of the year here. That's right. Yep. Maryland, the first time ever, has the coach of the year in football and basketball and the player of the year in football and basketball. Holden with a three-pointer. It's a football season this year for Maryland. Orange Bowl. Dixon again, he just can't get a piece of that ball from Davis. Davis is strong and stays low to the floor. Penny with a three. Wilkinson gets him a 335. And he'll put it up again. Bounces around twice. Mutons had a hard working second half. He really has. Great role playing situation. Nicholas followed up Dixon. He slashed to the basket. Great anticipation. Once again, knowing exactly where he belongs on the floor. This is the kind of performance these fans wanted. And Jim, I don't think it would have made any difference had they not been playing in a, basically a home arena with the superior team. Wilkinson, left hand over Baxter, tipped out. Davis will retrieve. No backcourt there. That ball was hit by Maryland. Wills to the hole. Good, strong move by Wills, but you can see how tired he is. Well, the East Regional, we're not going to advance Maryland quite yet, but looking like a Maryland-Kentucky matchup. What an attractive game that'll be. Juan Dixon, Tayshawn Prince. That'll be one of the best matchups of the entire tournament. Well, you can remember when Steve Francis was at Maryland, Maryland 10-0, having a chance to, in effect, for the first time in their history, to be the number one team in the nation. Went down to a town called Lexington, Kentucky, and Kentucky beat them. about Tayshawn's performance yesterday? Oh, boy. You Sensational. Know, I'll tell you what I was impressed with. His post-game conference, where he, the first thing he said, he didn't talk about the 41 points he had. What he talked about is, I did not turn the ball over and wish I'd had a few more rebounds for a double-double. Now, there's a guy that's got his head on straight. Mukton. Battle underneath. Wills and Holden. Arrow. It belongs to Maryland, as does just about everything else at this point. The Terrapins have broken it open. 60-36. A tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. As you all know, winning is a great feeling. And it's okay to celebrate.
The way you celebrate says a lot about you. So keep up the good work. Being responsible, respecting the law, celebrating safely. It's all about having a good head on your shoulders. Figuratively speaking. A message from the National Association of State Universities and Land-Grant Colleges and Anheuser-Busch. Road game, huh? I just love road games. No distractions, just you against the world. It's an opportunity to prove yourself. To show everyone out there you can win no matter what. It's just a sales call. Son, there's no such thing as just a sales call. When you're on the road, count on Fairfield Inn's inviting affordable rooms. Son, you need a fight song. Bum, 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 yeah, bum, fight bum, song. Bum, break, coach, break. Road game, huh? Now make three stays and earn two free nights. Call 1-888-MARRIOTT today. Fairfield Inn. Your Marriott awaits. All around the world, Siemens is energizing the cities and towns we live in. We engineer new ways to efficiently generate, distribute, and use power. And by providing energy to people everywhere, we're giving them the power to live better. Spin, spin, spin the globe. It's your turn to spin the globe. Whenever you call me Chevy. The cars you can depend on. The cars that last. You never have to look too far. Chevy. We'll be there. Always with you. Maryland manhandling Wisconsin here in the second half. 60-36, 11-28 remaining. Just too many bodies here for Maryland. Superior talent on the floor. You get all the more respect for what Wisconsin was able to do this season in the Big Ten. But the top-heavy situation in the ACC with Maryland and Duke shows you just how good those teams were. Smart play by Dixon with that ball hit. How about taking uh, in the backcourt? George is down seven to Southern Illinois, 844 to play, and Dixon adds to his total. He has 29. He's matched his Friday night performance. Well, he has a chance, you know, to break another record today. 31 is the all-time high in an NCAA tournament game for a Maryland player. Wills. Nice catch. 29 by Dixon, matching the season high. A guy named Joe Smith had 31. The last guy to have 31 for Maryland team in an NCAA tournament game. And that was 431 right there. Penny put Dixon down. Take it to the basket. Big numbers here. Owens too strong. And hustling back is Mouton. He's done it the entire half. He has had a great second half. Nicholas flies for two. He has eight off the bench. This is the best that Maryland has played, including the ACC game against Florida State that they won. Whoop. Uh, Wilkinson was trying to hit Davis, who looked away. Nicholas right down the middle, and it rolls out. Freddie now, Owens. A, a fast break for Wisconsin. First, oh, I was going to say first fast break points. Mouton with another rebound. He is really hustling out there. Gary Williams calling a play, and guess what? You're sitting over there on the Wisconsin bench, and you say, yeah, he's putting in two players, Wilcox and Blake, coming in off the bench. A foul call. Badger foul on Wilkinson. Monday, an all-new Late Show with David Letterman. Don't miss Arizona Senator John McCain. Musical guest, the White Stripes. Then on Tuesday, Dave welcomes John Stewart. Join him, David Letterman, tomorrow night on CBS. I heard the senator the other day on one of your favorite radio programs, Jim. Yes. Talking about the brackets, and he was really well informed, <laughs> so Dave better get uh, in sync there. I wonder how he's doing on his brackets. Oh, uh, good job by Wilcox. Wilcox says, Gary Williams says, no limit to his upside. 
8 of 11 from the field, Wilcox, 16 points. And here Blake coming in from behind, thought he had Wills to the point that he didn't realize he was there. Wills hurt his hand, not asking to come out though. Gary Williams brought back to his alma mater, brought home by the then athletic director, Lou Perkins brought him home. Lou now the AD up at the University of Connecticut. His Husky basketball program already advancing to the Sweet 16 off this floor earlier today. You know, Jim, this uh, NCAA tournament, there were nine guys that in their first season were able to take teams into the NCAA tournament. Bo Ryan certainly being one of those that we're seeing out here today. That Mata still alive at Xavier. He took over for Skip Prosser, who was one of those nine going down to Wake Forest. Of course, he had done it at uh, uh, at Xavier. But the guy that really has got himself in great shape, Stan Heath, former Michigan State assistant, who's got Kent State moving forward into the Sweet 16. So some guys doing very well with his first time around. The golden flashes giving the mid-major conferences a team to root for in the Sweet 16. And Southern Illinois trying to join them as uh, the Cinderella's for the second week. Mater comes back for the Badgers. I think that Will's uh, finger is going to take a little bit of a treatment right there. I'm sure we'll see him back in this game. Fine career and a great senior leadership year for him and a team that uh, lost almost 70% of rebounding, scoring, and assists off last year's team. Will's has been in a Wisconsin uniform now more than any other Badger in history. Setting the all-time record here in Washington. Turn around, drops for Wilcox. He's having a hot day from the field. Now nine out of 12 field goals for Wilcox. And Dixon and Baxter and Mouton sitting down over there, but as you can see, not much of a fall off of the quality of players that Maryland puts on the floor. Meter on the outside, Randall. Not worrying about his outside jump shot. Finney outside. And good pass there. Mater to Davis for two. Wisconsin team hung in there for about half of the opening 20 minutes. And, and then suddenly the Maryland gold rush began. Well, some of the highlights for the season, obviously, would be up at Michigan State where they knocked off the Spartans. Home court win streak. 54-game win streak. Yep, they were the team that did it. At the Breslin Center. Win there. A win at Indiana for the first time since 1977. Davis with the driving two. Now here's a real nightmare for Gary Williams. He had his team to peak level in regard to their concentration. Now all of a sudden, they're going through the motions here down the wire. He would almost like for this game to be over to keep them at the pace that they were earlier in this half. Time out on the court. Maryland 69, Wisconsin 42, 738 remaining. Why do I rent from Enterprise? For more cargo room. More people room. Or more headroom. Enterprise. So easy it's like having a second car. Or third. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Men think about women every 5.3 seconds. Men think about soap? Probably never, because they're all the same, except this one. New high-endurance deodorant soap made just for guys. Maybe now women will think about you every 5.3 seconds. New from Old Spice. At Midas, all we think about is auto care. In fact, recently, I had an idea for a kid's show, a way to get kids excited about our business. Wave hello to Mr. AC! Hi, Mr. AC! Mr. AC is very cold. The compressor pressurizes the... We're still tweaking it. Midas, we do that.
Sometimes you feel like being dependable. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds. Sometimes you just want to go for a drive. You know, it'd be a lot more fun if they had a better car. Chevy Impala. Teams are on the move. South Africa, baby. Stopping only for refreshments. It's like a combination of bleach and mouthwash. All new race Wednesday after Survivor. The Maryland Terrapins trouncing Wisconsin, but the Badgers' leading scorer, Charlie Willis, likely playing his last game at Wisconsin. Willis really is to Wisconsin what Cal Ripken is to baseball. He is the Iron Man, has never missed a game in his career. And he is only one of only two players ever, he and Trevon Davis, to play in four straight NCAA tournaments, Jim. Yes, wearing that uniform more than anyone in history. Mater gets his first basket. Will's getting married here this summer. And again, uh, with Davis, as Bonnie reported, the only two to ever play four straight years in the NCAA tournament for Wisconsin. McCall has come on the floor for Maryland. Will Cox. Wisely dumps it out. He was looking for another one of his patented turnaround jump shots. Randall oh, oh, oh. runs over Davis. Davis is laughing. Randall put his head down and shoulder. Knocked Davis's shoe off. Davis is still reeling. <laughs> that is a load. All of that to draw the charge on Randall. McCall sits down, and who comes back in but Dixon? exactly what uh, coach Ryan needs to see How about this this was Maryland's that right there that counts the charge as a turnover it was Maryland's first since eight minutes on the clock in the first half that's 21 minutes well the best assist turnover ratio in the Atlantic Coast Conference uh, and here comes Dixon up again looking for that steal Davis has done a fine job in that regard when he gets double teamed He's made some good decisions out there Off of Dixon. Wisconsin ball. Oklahoma pulling away from Xavier. Another three minutes to play, up 11. Georgia will have to mount a big rally here. Well, Oklahoma, a team that destroyed Maryland this year. And I realize Maryland coming off of exams. There's a lot of things to talk about as to why Maryland didn't play well. But Oklahoma just took it to them. Mater dumps it to Wilkinson for two. Jim, in that game, to give an idea, we've seen Maryland play. Oklahoma out-rebounded them 42 to 32 in that game. Wow. Dominating performance. Timeout, Maryland. In 1934. In the NCAA tournament. It really is, Jim. And when you have these uh, power conferences that put in four to six representatives, you get a pretty good idea the balance of the league. I realize it's a one-and-done situation, but with that many teams, you get a pretty good handle on who really had the strength throughout the course of the year in these crossover games. If Oklahoma goes on to win this game, and they had the 11-point lead last we saw, with 2.47 to play, the Big 12 will lead the way with four of the 16 slots in the Sweet 16. And you know, throughout the course of the year, it looked like the Big 12 was playing from top to bottom as well as anybody in the country, if not better. Davis driving on Blake. Beautiful move. Working hard here today. Davis has 14 for the Badgers. Well, in the game that Wisconsin won on this floor two days ago, the Badgers had five guys in double figures. It's the first time that they'd ever done that in NCAA tournament play. 14 times this year, they've had at least four guys in double figures. It shows you that it's been a very tight team, basically six deep. And everybody contributing. That was not intended for Mouton. Loose ball picked up by Davis. Wisconsin's on a 10-0 run. And Davis can add to it at the line. And I said a couple of minutes ago, this is a, a real nightmare for Gary Williams. He's got this game won. He had his team at a fever pitch, playing extremely well. And now the guys realize they've won the game, but they've lost their concentration and focus. Sunday on 60 Minutes. It's coming up shortly here on CBS. Mike Wallace and the real Nobel Prize winner that Russell Crowe played in the movie A Beautiful Mind. That's tonight on 60 Minutes. We can remember uh, 99. Remember uh, Wisconsin coming into the NCAA tournament 
Southwest Missouri, Steve Offords Club, 32 to 43. They were beaten in that game in just a real down performance. I thought they played well today considering that the fact that they're overmatched with depth and one so Wills got in foul trouble early in the game and O'Ryan had to go to that bench. It really gave Maryland a distinct advantage. Trevon Davis with a career high in what will be his final game. He has 15. And give Wisconsin a lot of credit. Stolen right back by Mouton. Dixon. Three. Nope. Baxter. Oh, nice touch. That ends an 11-point streak by the Badgers. You know, if Wisconsin would go in, go inside and kick out some, down 12, there's a lot of time left to make a run. Oh, excuse me, 22. To make some kind of a run, Jim. You want to go ahead, you got to do it with threes, and you've got Penny in the game, Wills in the game, Harris in the game. Nice backdoor cut. Harris dips down and out. And that's a foul on Harris. But the only chance they have is to go to threes the rest of the way. Penny, two out of 12 today from the field for the all Big Ten player. The only returning starter from last year's team. It's not the way Wisconsin and Bo Ryan would like to play, but if there's any chance whatsoever in the light little comeback that they made, that's the only way it's going to happen. But you really get a feeling that this one was over. Right before through. the half. Yep, right really. before the half. Even oh, it goes. Baxter with two and a chance for one more. Even though it was only an eight-point game at halftime, you really didn't have any sense that Wisconsin is going to have a chance. It was similar in football to a wishbone team being down two or three touchdowns at halftime. Yeah, I mean, where were the points going to come, come from? Back? Here we have Baxter going across the lane, body on him. Pretty good job by Mater going across the lane without coming down. Body contact with the chest. Many four, 49, and Wilkinson for Mater. You know, I don't think Wills has picked up another foul since that time. Still has sitting it? at two. Yep. Did a good job in that respect. Seems like the Maryland fans have also so seen all they want to see. And that was <laughs> Wills knocked down Harris. Trying to draw a charge against his own man. Beautiful drop step. Wills. He has 17 for the Badgers. How much longer will the starter stay on the floor for the Terps? Baxter, nice move, baseline. Well, only thing that can happen now if you're Gary Williams, have somebody get hurt, so might be time to unload. Randall's going to be coming in. Scott McCall on that bench. He can play a little guard position. Penny, who has not had a good shooting day at all. And there's Wilcox almost up around the top of the glass. Two for 13 for Penny. He once had 27 points in a 15-minute span up at Minnesota this year. Led them to a come from behind. Actually, 13 points down in the second half. Led them to victory. That's going to be a block call on Wilkinson. CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Points off turnovers. Well, Wisconsin unable to convert off a turnover. You can get complete tournament coverage at cbs.sportsline.com or on America Online. Enter the keyword CBS Sports Line. And you can see the Wisconsin players, and they really had to judge this early, uh, Jim, to see that this was not the kind of game against the kind of opponent they could handle. Mouton again, terrific second half by Mouton. Mouton will go to the free throw line. What about Maryland, Kentucky? There's a team that's got some depth. They have both teams and with talent. tremendous depth. Coaching. Backcourt experience in NCAA tournament play. I think that uh, Kentucky, with some of the problems that they've had in the last month and a half, looked like yesterday that team was working on all, uh, all cylinders. They looked like they were enjoying playing together, and that's really a key for that team. Mouton on the board. Crowd always appreciative 
of his effort. Tulane transfer his freshman year at Tulane. He was the runner-up for conference freshman of the year to Larry Hughes of St. Louis. Now a starter at Maryland. We'll be right back. Jim Nance with Billy Packer. We're closing in on the end of the opening week of the tournament. And uh, what's the surprise team for you at this point, other than Kent State being in the Sweet 16? I think the surprise team, considering who they've played against and how well they've played, to me is Missouri. They really are. I, I thought that yesterday they played like the kind of team that people thought early in the season they might be. Isn't it interesting? UCLA and Missouri, two teams that people questioned throughout the year. And they played so well sometimes, so poorly other times, and here they'll be going head-to-head -head against each other. I look at those teams and I think of one thing in the tournament, Harris with a three, Tyus Edney. Just exactly what uh, their matchup before. Jim Calhoun was talking about the other day. He said if if Tyus said he doesn't make that play and Missouri wins, we are in the Final Four that year. He said we couldn't match up well with UCLA, but we matched up very well with Missouri. And of course, who will ever forget Tyus said in the final game where we didn't know he wasn't going to start. And Jim Herrick faked, it, faked all of us out with Cameron Dollar, and they ended up winning the national title. Good play. Harris with an open lane and connects. Oklahoma has advanced to the Sweet 16, fourth Big 12 team to qualify for the second week. There was a case where Maryland thought they had a wide open shot to the basket. Wilson made a real good steal. Penny with the steal. Challenge Baxter, and he'll go to the line for two. And one of the things you can see out here is the the intestinal fortitude of these Wisconsin players. They're completely out of this game and still playing hard. That's probably why, more than anything, when you take a look at this team, they were co-champions in the Big Ten. They're certainly not blessed with a lot of talented players. Maryland bringing in some subs. Baxter goes out, Mouton, Dixon. You know, Jim, when you really think of the history of the Big Ten with all of the great teams they've had, and obviously some national champions have come out of the Big Ten, this Wisconsin team may have achieved as much as any team with their personnel has ever played in the Big Ten. That's a real strong statement, but I think it may be true. And score the basket, Andre Collins. it back out for Wills. One of the rim. Well, you would like to have seen him make that oh, three-point attempt. It's Harris down, but he's all right. Skip Shackle for trying to draw the charge. Javon Davis, Chevy MVP, along with Warren Dixon. There's Davis going to go out of the game. Tremendous job by this young man. Skip, can you fix it? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> well, that was a rather expensive charge. <laughs> We're not going to send a repair bill to Wisconsin, are we? Wills goes out of the game as well on that exchange. Randall. Oh, oh, how nice man. is that? Young man that's going to fit into the Maryland plans for next year. Margin is 30. Maryland making plans to go to Syracuse. Well, I had a match up with Kentucky. I had them down to 12 a little while ago when I couldn't add properly, Jim. I said they should go to three. <laughs> Glad you corrected me. I think you and Gary Williams may have been doing the same math. He was getting all hot on the sideline there. Maybe he thought it was 12. And he's just wanting to pull it back out. Let this clock uh, keep moving here. Randall jumper. Fade away jumper yes. and it goes. Final 24 seconds. Gary Williams in his 13th year. All those years building up to perhaps this team right here. It certainly looks like a Final Four team, doesn't it? Has two wins to go. Collins. Oh, Randall almost got another basket. 
in and block. That do. Uh, it'll be Wisconsin ball. 